Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. Today, we've got Fut, Birthday, Pedro. Pedro always gets a special card, and this year we've got a pretty good one. We've got this squad with him. We used him in a 4-2-3-1 in game. We played him at left attacking mid and central attacking mid. I actually liked him at both. He does have low defensive work rates, so he won't do much on the getting back which I know a lot of people like their attacking mids to get back. You park the bus rats. But nonetheless, look at his stats here. We put a Hawk chem style on him. Some people say Hunter on Fuppin, but I personally like the Hawk to boost that physicality. You can see it's a little low. But with the Hawk, he's got 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 94 agility, 94 balance. He's got 86 composure as well, which is above the 85 threshold. 92 finishing, 93 shot power, 94 long shots. He's got 88 stamina, he's got 92 vision, 91 curve, really nice stats. He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five the short and lean body type makes him feel like Messi, on the ball at least. He's got outside the foot shot, he's got finesse shot. This guy's got all the right stats. Alright, so we'll take a deeper dive into each one of his stats. First one is the pace. He's got 94 acceleration and sprint speed with a hawk. I mean, there's not much you could say about that. He's definitely rapid. He's got the right body type to make him look and feel a little bit faster so he's definitely excelling on that end of things and you could put a hunter on him to make him even faster which would boost him up to 98 on each he's also got the explosive acceleration so pace wise this guy is chilling if you look at shooting he's got 92 positioning i wouldn't say his positioning is anything special uh it's just like any other card it's not like he was in specifically really good positions at all his finishing was awesome on both feet. You can see he scored a bike right there. His shot power, I mean, he's got 93 shot power, 94 long shots. He's banging in everything. I know there's some cards where they have high shooting stats and they just really don't feel that good. He feels good. He's got good shooting. I would say shooting's messy like as well. Passing, it's only 86, but he's got 92 vision, 91 short pass, 91 curve. So. When you're playing quick tiki taka, you know, you've got him in the box, you've got him up high. He's usually just doing quick passes anyways. He's good at those. Long, you know, crossing, if you're a crosser, he's not great at crossing. But overall, I'd say the passing's nothing to worry about. Dribbling, this is his best trait. He's got 94 agility, 94 balance, 92 ball control, 92 dribbling. He's got 86 composure as well, we'll get to that. But yeah, on the ball, he feels amazing with the five-star skills. Like I was saying before, messy, like super smooth. Not a single complaint about his dribbling, in my opinion. Composure, he's got 86, above the 85 threshold. A lot of you always ask, what does that even mean? So essentially, it, hidden in the stats, there's this thing called, within composure, there's like a hidden mechanic, where like if they're under 85, they perform a lot less consistently. But when they're above 85, they play really consistent. You know, you're getting... It's essentially what composure is, is how often does the card play up to its stats. If they've got above 85, they're playing up to its stats a lot. If it's below 85, it's they're not playing up to their stats as much. A lot less. For some reason, 85 is the threshold. That being said, his defending... He's got 41 defending. He's got low work rates for defensive. He's not going to do much. He's not going to get back... He's not going to make tackles. So if you like your cams on comeback, if you like your cams to play a lot of defense, if you're a park bus rat, he's not going to be your guy out there. Physicality, he's got 88 stamina, which is really good. 83 jumping. I mean, he's like, what, five foot seven, so he's really not going to be hitting much headers. I mean, I guess Messi hit a header against Man United in the final. But, but yeah, physically, I mean, he's got 54 strength and 68 aggression with the Hawk cam style on him. So it's a tough one. He definitely gets pushed off the ball easily, but he's so shifty and small and quick that like you can get out of it. It's not like some of these other players with bad physical where they're not fast enough and they don't have the dribbling ability to get out of it. He's been quick enough to beat it. I mean, obviously in the box, he's going to get bullied a little bit. But he can find himself some gaps, get open, and he's super effective and he's super quick. So for me, he's definitely a...